In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a link to share photos. So this is going to be great if you want to organize your photos into a folder and share that link with other people. Now, there are many ways to do this, but if you have a Google account, I recommend doing this through Google Drive. So here inside Google Drive, you can go ahead and upload and share the photos via a link. Now, if you've got a Google account already, all you need to do is go to Google and type in Google Drive. You'll then be taken to these search results. You can go ahead and click Google Drive sign in and provided you're already signed into your account, you'll be taken into Drive. From here, what I would recommend you do is go new, new folder, and then call this folder something relevant to your photos. So I'm just going to put here photos to share. Now, after we've created that folder, we'll see it in my drive. You can click my drive, then you can go and double click on photos to share. Now you can upload the photos. You can do this in two ways. You can go new, file upload, and find the photos this way. Or if you've already got the photos open in a new file explorer, you can highlight them all and then drag them on to the folder. That's going to upload the items which you are going to see right here. Once your photos have uploaded, you can then right click on the folder name. So mine is photos to share. Then go to share, click share again. And what we can do now is grab a link so by default, if you click on copy link and give this link, which will be copied to your clipboard to somebody, if it's on the restricted access, if they try and access the folder, it will send you an email saying, do you want to give X person access? This is okay if you're awake and you've got access to your email, but if you're in bed and someone tries and accesses the photos, they're not going to be able to without your approval. So if you change this to anyone with the link, now anyone with this link can access the photos. But if you share it with someone you trust, you can copy this link. You can head over and give this link to them in any messaging service. And then they'll be able to click on the link and access the files. So this is what it will look like in English. And they'll be able to then click download all and download the whole folder.